These are the pancakes you need to make on pancake day. Fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. Fluffy, cloud-like pancakes. Can I get it in my hummer? And you will be my squishy. I'm literally drooling. This is so good. <laughs> Japanese souffle pancakes. They are the most. You think you've had fluffy pancakes before with American pancakes? No, think again. Japanese pancakes are the squishiest, fluffiest, they like wiggle when you move them. I'm so excited to share this recipe with you. Not only am I making these fluffy cloud-like pancakes, I'm stuffing them with a miso almond butter and blueberry jam, so that when you crack into it, it's gonna ooze. Not only that, I'm gonna be topping it all off with some candied maple bacon. These are the pancakes you need to make on pancake day. Separate four eggs and four egg whites. To the yolks, add your milk. We'll mix the rooski. And then sift in the flour. You wanna be using plain flour or even better, low gluten. Room temperature egg whites will whip up easier. To help it along, you can add a little bit of cream of tartar or a little bit of lemon juice. So we're gonna start whisking these into soft peaks. When it's slightly firmer, you can start adding in the sugar and we're gonna basically make them around. This is what you're looking for. It's like fluffy and it's holding its shape. You'll see it, it turns glossy. If you over whip this, it'll start to split. So don't go too far, but don't go, you want it stiff. I need to make some candy bacon to go along with this recipe. I'm sticking on my oven and I'm going to be drizzling on some maple on some bacon. That's going straight in the oven. You got me your meringue and you've got your egg yolks. Is take about two spoons and shove it in your egg yolk. This is gonna break up your egg yolks and you wanna loosen it up a bit. From the meringue, we don't wanna knock any more air out. So you're just gonna put in a half again Try and get it in cleanly. And then fold it through. Probably should get a bigger bowl for this, but uh, you know. And then pop in the rest of it. So you're going in third with the meringue. Add two tablespoons of peanut butter and one teaspoon of miso and give that a bit of a mix and loosen it up with some water. Once your pan's hot, spray a bit of oil in it and add in your batter. We're gonna pile these pancakes high spoon by spoon and load them up so they're super tall. Then stick your lid on it and this will allow it to steam. Repeat the process two or three times until they're looking tall and fluffy. Then add in your miso peanut butter followed by your blueberry jam and top off with another spoon of pancake batter. Cover and allow to steam for another two minutes. For the trickiest part, ease your spatula underneath your pancake and flip him over. Spritz in some oil and a tablespoon of water. This is gonna allow the pancake to get all steamy. Put the lid back on and allow to steam for two more minutes. It's a little bit of wiggle. Candied maple bacon on top. Sweet, it's rich, it's intense, it's buttery, it's good. I'm literally drooling. This is so good. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. And if you made these Japanese pancakes filled with peanut butter and jam, then make sure to tag at Chef Philly and I'll love to share it. Until next time, keep cooking and see you later.